Hi children, welcome back again. Okay, so in the last video we have started the new topic that is matter. Then we have discussed what are matters, what is um, non-matter, what are the examples for the matters and what are the examples for the non-matters. And again in the matter which are the types will come. Okay, this all we have discussed. And then we have stopped to us some um, until this uh, the solid, liquid and the gases. Then what are the solid, liquid and the gases? Solid, liquid and gases are the states of the matter. Then how many states of the matter are there? Three states of the matter are there. You have been learning this all from your first standard or second standard. That is what are the states of the matter? The, there are three states of the matter. Solid, liquid and the gases. And we know that the water is going to be uh, we can get the water, water in all the three forms. Even in the solid form, even in the liquid form and even in the gaseous form. Then how we are going to get the water in the solid form? Of course, ice, ice cubes, these all we get from the water that is solid form of the water. And liquid is that may be a cold water or the warm water that is in the form of the liquid state. And then if we boil the liquid or we if we boil the, boil the water then after some time it will get evaporated. The heat steam will come upside to the surface of the water. Then that is gaseous form of the water. Then what are these actually? The, these all three states are made up of what? We will learn this in detail in this video. For example, what are the solids that we will discuss first? Solid. Solid has a definite shape. Solid has a definite or a fixed shape and the size and it cannot flow. See, solid means for example, I can give you the solid form uh, this board. This board has a definite shape. This will be uh, the same even today, more, uh, today uh, even now, right now and in the evening and tomorrow after one week, after one month, after one year. If you see this board, the shape, size, color, everything is going to be remain same. And it, 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 uh, uh, this is not going to flow, isn't it? Which, uh, because it has a solid, it has a definite shape. Then like this substance we call as a solid. Okay, then other than this I can give many examples also. Solid, I have a duster here, okay. I had a duster. This is solid because it has a definite shape, size and here it will not flow here, there, downwards or sidewards. It is not going to flow because of this property we call this one as a solid. Other than this if I take a, a water in a one glass, okay, or water in a bottle. Then I cannot say that this water is a solid because that water or liquid that may be the water or maybe the milk or maybe the oil or maybe the ghee or maybe the lassi or maybe the juice whatever it may be. These all are there in the water that is a liquid form. Then this liquid I can put in a jug okay, and I can take in a glass. I can take in a water bottle, I can take in a vessel, in whichever we can take. And that uh, liquid form is going to take the shape of the container. That container may be the flat, the container may, may be the round or container may be the rectangle, container may be the square, whatever shape of that may, may be. That liquid is going to take the shape of the container. Because of that we say that liquid has no fixed shape and size and which can flow. Liquid always flow downwards or sidewards of the container. Okay. Then third one is gaseous form. As I told you no fixed shape for the gas and again no um, any particular shape or size for the gas and it can spread in all the direction. Solid will not spread. Solid will not flow also. But the liquid can flow towards the di downward direction and sound uh, side of the container. But gas cannot flow but it can spread in all the direction. See you can see a difference between the liquid and the gas. Liquid can flow in one direction that may be the downward or side of the container. But gas will spread in all the direction, almost in all the direction. In the previous video we have discussed 
there is a air in this room and it has spread through what the this each corner of the room then the air can flow in any direction downside upside side in the corner so because of that we say that the gas spreads see i have i have tried to uh, show you one small picture here there is a vessel and there is a fire on this vessel okay this fire is given to this vessel and the water starts boiling after it reaches its boiling point there are the water vapors or steam of the, and these are the small atoms how they are spreading in the all direction just i have tried you to show that one then we are talking about the solid liquid and the gases and we are telling that these are the definite shapes and these are not definite shapes and this third one is exactly does not have any definite shape and the size then how these are made up of and what are there inside them that may be the solid and that may be the liquid and that may be the gases yes exactly exactly you are right this solid liquid and gases again these substances each and every substance on this earth are made up of atoms i don't know whether you have heard this one or not all the substances that may be the substance that may be the small rock soil or our eating substances or living non living this chalk paste if i uh, break this this chalk paste i will get a powder and the seen that powder that the smallest particle smallest particle of this chalk paste is called as the atom okay i have just tried to show you the sh shape of the solid which exactly looks like a solid there is a definite shape that may be the square rectangle or some other shape too and the atoms are bounded very tightly in this and loosely in this in the uh, liquid very loosely the atoms these round shapes are atoms and these are tight very loosely and then in the gas yes very loosely they can go in whichever direction they can move in any direction as they wish then again these atoms any one substance is made up of many atoms and that atom is the smallest particle of the substance or the matter then do you know how the atoms are made up of because to get the different shapes again the atoms are made up of the molecules atoms are made up of again the single single molecules molecules each molecules are of the same property isn't it if i have here chalk paste i want to see the atom of this chalk paste i will make a powder of this the smallest particle of this chalk paste will be the atom then if i go for further study of this atom then i will see the atoms are made up of the small molecules then what are the molecules if i differentiate one molecule from the another from the atom i will see even this atom is also of a white color and this is also of white color and even this has uh, the same property of uh, the smelling property or of the chemical uh, substance used in this if the one atom has the the same uh, chemical substance and smelling property another also is having the same property again the molecules are smaller than the atoms molecules are smaller than the atoms okay so in this uh, still it is their elements compounds you will learn we will discuss these all in the next video children so uh, i hope you have understood whatever we have discussed in this video it's very interesting if you not understood also see the video again and again you will come to no see till this it's very easy and here you can see the shapes of solid liquid and the gases and again you can go uh, thinking that how the substances are or how the matter are made up of then again we'll come to know that matter are made up of atoms then what are these atoms these atoms are nothing but the smallest part of the any matter or any sub uh, substance then again how the atoms are made up of then which is very smallest again the smaller of the atom is the molecule okay i hope you all have understood whatever we have discussed in this today's video and in the next video 
still more we will discuss about atom molecule elements compounds okay um, by ending this video before ending this video i want to give you some homework that um, what you learn the uh, sorry what you will write, write the question answers for this uh, video is write down three forms of matter with example with example and the second question is write down the properties of the solid liquid and the gases then what you are going to write down the properties of the solid liquid and the gases these are this has the fixed shape and the size and which cannot flow in any direction and atoms are tied bounded very tightly in the solid and no fixed shape size but it can flow in the, towards downward and side of the container and which has uh, in the in this the atoms are bounded loosely so like this three three points you can write i hope you will do this homework and you are enjoying these all videos because these all are very important and interesting uh, uh, topics that you have to learn okay uh, okay then take care bye bye we shall meet in the next video bye children